Whatever happened to Cressida? Like, halfway through the second act, she That's, disappears. All these things are like that, though. They're... <laughs> Andrew Andrew here outside of Sandan's warehouse temporary location about to see Cry Trojans by the Worcester group is nothing sacred they are butchering and recombobulating Shakespeare this time and it's already gotten a bad review but guess who doesn't give it Hoot us. It all started out years ago when we first saw house lights and we were blown away by house lights and it started our theater going career basically. It did actually, yeah. It inspired us to, to rethink what theater could be and is. And since then, we've seen almost every single Worcester Group show. So we're probably- Including ones in Russia. Yes, and Berlin. If we're gonna go that far, we might as well come see a show that's already been reviewed poorly just across the pond. Exactly. We're going to see if Ben Bradley was right about this show. Mm -hmm. Well, we haven't seen a bad Worcester Group show yet, so this is your time to shine, Elizabeth. Yeah. Here we are at intermission, and I would like to say the full name of the show, which we didn't say before because I was terrified of mispronouncing it. It's Cry Trojans. Troilus and Cressida, which I know how to pronounce now because they kept saying it in the show. This is a difficult show, even if it's just Shakespeare, even if they did a straight rendering. Shakespeare? Is, is it just me or Sh Scott Shepard channeling Woody Harrelson? Harrelson? Or somebody from King of the Hill? The, the accents are all over the place. The costumes are insane good. The choreography is esoteric and devastating in equal measure. The interpretation and deviation from the script is perfection. I am loving this. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow! Even though it, it, it's, it's the most academic, pedantic thing ever, almost like an overwrought lecture brought to life with living slides. They, I think you're right. This might be one of the most straightforward uh, Worcester Group shows that I've seen so far. No, it's not straight. Well, or maybe it is. Um, uh, but well, they do it really, it's so, it's really funny. For me, the jury's still out. See you at the second act. I can pronounce it now. So we're out. We survived the war between the Trojans and the Greeks, this time cast as Native Americans and the Brits. Which is brilliant because Native Americans, it's all about tribes. It, it's very tribal, right? I mean, yeah. the, the, the Greeks, it bears saying that this is one half of a troubled production that was a collaboration between the Royal Shakespeare Company and the Worcester Group. It was apparently a disaster of collaboration, but I believe that in the end... The Worcester Group won the battle. Well, no, you know who really won the battle? Who? Is New Yorkers who get to yeah. go see the better show. There's a lot of technology that's going on here that you don't are not aware of. The sound design is amazing, video projections, there's a lot of subtle things that you don't even notice. Also, the Worcester Group never takes the easy way out. Nope. This is not an easy show to pull out, even if it was done straight. It's not a popular show to do. They do it in a difficult way. And I, for one, am honored to have been on the battlefield. Mr. Ben Brantley, I know you watch these reviews. We oh, completely not. We disagree with you. This is a great show. Wonderful. Okay, so there you have it. Two green lights for the Worcester Group's Cry Trojans at St. Anne's Warehouse. <laughs>